Thank you, Andrew. Mark Medina, the USA Today. Good to see you. I was wondering, what uh, has Michael Thompson meant to you over the years and the connection that you guys have from the Bahamas? Um, I know he's been holding it down for me, uh, you know, supporting me all the way to here, um, give, keeping me high spirits and always, you know, sending the words of wisdom here and there. What's been some of those words of wisdom? You know, just basically repping for the Bahamas and, you know, I'm a young guy, but it's taking a lot of pressure, just making sure I enjoy all of this. Sam, go ahead, Sam. Sam Amick, The Athletic, DeAndre Gattini. So I'm fascinated by the fact that Chris Paul was able to come to town and connect with all the young dudes. So Mikhail just talked about, you know, invites to the house to watch games, and he's he didn't just come and, and work on his own game and focus on himself. Uh, how did he do that? And for you, if you like, what moments come to mind of, you know, when he did something where you said, man, he's not just about himself; he's trying to lift up the whole group. Man, um, C CP sacrificed a lot since he's been here. Um, you know, just playing through that shoulder injury showed a lot, you know, uh, later on in the season. But I'll say starting off when he got here, when we was in the middle of training camp, um, just us getting into it, you know, going at it, um, playing one-on-one -on -one with him, uh, not getting to finish the games because we just arguing the whole time and just seeing the fight and the competitiveness and see and, you know, just showing that he's, you know, he's one of us still, like, regardless of the age and he is, you know, he's still a competitor and, you know, just break the ice from there and, you know, he's just a great dude beyond that and just contagious. We'll go to uh, Zoom right now for a couple of questions. Go ahead, please. Next up is Cody Cunningham with Suns.com, followed by Hamaj al -Nulls. Hey, DA. Uh, having guys like Chris and Book, who are such versatile guards, you know, able to handle, score, distribute, and so on, just what kind of impact does having two guys like that have on the overall offense? And, you know, how have they been able to help set up set up your offensive game as well? I mean, it's, we're truly uh, fortunate to have those two, um, especially when it's mismatches on switches. You know, just spacing the floor the correct way. And, you know, it puts us in what we do, moving the ball well. And, you know, uh, just them two really knocking down shots and being a threat out there works a lot for corner shooters and me and a dunker. Next is Imajal Knowles from the Bahamas. Hey, what's good, DeAndre? Um, obviously a big day for yourself and your family here at home in the Bahamas. You know, we celebrate Independence Day. Just tell me a bit about the feeling of uh, playing an NBA Finals game on Independence Day, you knowing the whole country's watching, as well as, like you said, um, bringing the Larry O'Brien back to the Bahamas. I mean, it means a lot. Um, I know the, I know there's a lot of motivation behind it. Uh, I know there's a lot of people uh, back home supporting me, watching, and... You know, um, I want to put on the show for them and, you know, make sure this thing happens. You know, every game I'm going, I'm bringing the Bahamas with me. So I'm locked in. But Dwayne, go ahead, Dwayne. Yeah, DeAndre, you talked about the sacrifices that Chris made, but Chris has been saying that you've made so many sacrifices for this team. Just what's that feel like for the guy at that level to, to say that about what you've been able to do and what you've been able to sacrifice? Um, you know, C knows. Um, we always talk about it. Um, just, you know, having that chemistry of what's best for the team, you know, that's what I'm all about. You know, if sacrificing is leading to wins and where we are today, I'll sacrifice everything. You know what I'm saying? And everything he's told me is led up to here. So why stop now? Oh, like, we all know your skill set. Like, you could easily be shooting J's. You could easily <laughs> shoot threes. You could easily dribble. We saw a baseline move against the Clippers. I was thinking, that I've seen that, but you could be doing that more. So how much are you, like, that really must mean something to sacrifice those things because that could, those are elements of your game you've always had, but you're not using them for the betterment of the team. I think that's what's best for this team because everybody in there plays their role, but – we all we all got a little spice, and that's why this team is so great. And you know that's why we really respect each other's games because we know the type of work we put behind it. You know we're not just this role player that you know that we play for the team, or we just do the requirements, but we got a little something extra. We'll go to Sam. Go ahead, Sam. DeAndre, watching your excitement coming into this series, and you've been real open about like this is a moment. And even when he won the West Finals, it was. Is it too much? You know what I mean? Like, 
but then the days start stacking up and now you're heading into game three and it's it's still hoop and just overall how has it been compared to what you thought it might be Man, it's intense it's serious um it's all business to be honest um you know uh you can't really get around the wall when you hit the wall in the playoffs um it's all about doing the right things and approaching it the right way um just making sure you watch film and making sure you have enough confidence going into these games because it's a lot um you know, what I do best is I ask a lot of questions coming into these games to make sure my head is straight and I'm not behind nothing or no assignments. Who are you going to there? Who are you talking to the most in terms of asking questions? Mainly me, CM Book, Jay Crowder as well. Um, you know, he's guarded Giannis and he knows a lot of stuff, um, especially when we were in the Lakers series as well. He helped me a lot with AD, but just... You know, just saying, what is he like? Does he drive left? Does he drive right? You know, what does he do when he when you stop him going left? You know, stuff like that. Or, you know, I ask C, what does the team like to do if I roll? Does everybody collapse or do they stay out? Do I, do I have a one-on-one -on -one matchup down low? You know, things like that, just brainstorming. Let's see two more questions. We'll go to Stephen and Mark. Steve McGargy, Associated Press. I was just wondering, I don't know how much you've noticed how much attention Monty Williams discussion with you during the timeout has gotten but just what was your reaction when you saw how much attention it's gotten and what is what is the coach meant was coach meant to you during as far as your development over the course of this postseason I mean, you have to understand that's money every day as y'all just captured one moment that's money every second every day you know just making sure he uplifts his players and you know he's you know instilling wisdom into us but money means a lot you know um he's a real coach who i can go to and you know, he's more than a coach as well, but I can go to him with anything and, you know, it would be legit and, you know, life-wise with me. Hey, DeAndre, I, I talked to Michael the other day and he was uh, rattling off a few things he thinks about you. He thinks you're the third best center behind Jokic and Embiid. You're going to be the next David Robinson. He projected you as a Hall of Famer. How, how did those things land with you? I mean, that's big time. You know, um, me, all I have to do is just making sure I put my head down and keep working. You know, um, you know, with wins, you know, individual accolades come. So I just have to keep working and keep winning. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.